Hello and welcome. Welcome my friends. Welcome to the legend of the birch house. Where do I start with this one? Um Okay, so basically I was looking for a new server to play on. Um somewhere to start my house. I came across this and it's essentially a ruins. But it's different. It's something unusual about it. I've searched the ruins and I couldn't find any signs. I couldn't find any chests. I couldn't find anything. Ah, uh, here we go. So it looked like the house was actually raided. But uh, the weird thing about the house, the thing that actually made me think I need to do a series on this, is that all the items I'm carrying right now were right here. Are you going to let me do my intro? Or no? <laughs> so, um, yeah, all the items in this house were just here, sitting in a pile, like someone had died. But the thing is, a lot of these items are actually quite valuable. I mean, I got a full set of armor, I got diamond tools, I have a load of stuff, a load of stuff. It just got me thinking on, like, how did someone raid this house, but then decide to leave behind a full set of diamond gear, um, just a bunch of items all sitting in a pile. It didn't make sense. So my plan is to basically try and restore this house, trying to see if I can learn about what happened to it, and maybe even locate who the original owner was. Because this is actually a, an online server, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. I don't have control over the day and night, not really. Um, from the items I have, I can already gain a few clues about what's happened to this house. Whoa. Okay. That works for me. So, for example, the only food item I have is baked potatoes. So if I come up to here, you can see there's actually some farms on the top floor here. I've got no other type of crop, so I'm going to guess that these were originally, at some point, uh, potato farms. So not only do I want to try and figure out what happened to this house, I'm going to try and restore it back to its original type. So I have, I know that these are probably potato, f potato farms. The problem is, in the set of gear at the start, I only have baked potatoes. There's a couple of seeds here, I don't know. But uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So if I just had one potato, I could actually restore this farm properly. Right. One thing that actually really uh, bugs me about this particular house is that... Oh, hey, look at this. That's strange. Why... Is that... Yeah, go away, buddy. It looks like someone was towering up the building. I mean, the more I look at this house... Ah, oh, there is a chest. Okay, okay. Okay. As I was saying, though, one of the things that annoys me about this house is um, I generally don't like building with birch. It's, not, it's definitely not one of my favorite materials. And then, like, literally, right, there's a birch forest over this way. You know, you got a nice view of the the water here, and to this side you have a dark wood forest. Forest, and if it was me, I mean, this is like one of the best building materials you could have. I mean, you can you can make some great stuff out of this. You got a bit of oak as well. Why did they build the house out of birch? Because now I have to use birch. Okay, I think the first thing I should probably do is build a chest for most of the gear I have, because each piece of gear here, this is not my own gear. This is all this gear is a clue as to what the owner was doing at the time. Some of the mob stuff, yeah, that's mine. I should separate out what I found versus um, what I made. That's sure that should be the first thing I should do. Right. And someone's made a crafting bench. One random piece of wood here. I mean, it seems like this house has been very lived in, that's for sure. Right. Now, to be honest with you, it's actually been a long time since I've played Minecraft. A very long time. Um, 
I know there's been a lot of new uh, new blocks and things added. There's been a lot of new benches added. I'm not too sure. Right. We had potatoes. Obviously, had some birch wood. Getting started. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Bunch of tools. I mean, I just don't understand why someone would leave this stuff behind. I don't need two, two swords. Two diamond swords? Okay. Bench, wood, some saplings, rotten flesh. I don't think I collected that much rotten flesh. I've only played this server for maybe like 20 minutes. So no, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Um, an ender pearl, that was... Mm, yeah, that was mine. I didn't kill any chickens. I didn't kill any sheep. And I didn't collect any flowers. Yeah, that shovel, shovel was definitely his. Torches. I did not have these torches. I should use some of these torches, though, to try and light this place up. Steak. I didn't have any steak. Definitely didn't collect those seeds. And some more of these tools here. If I need any of this stuff, I can always come back. Yeah, we'll leave this here as well. Um, okay, okay. And one of these sticks is mine. That's approximately right. I mean, I'm going to keep the diamond armor. I already know that the guy was fairly high geared. Um, the stick and the golden shovel are related to the grief protection. So, yeah. So one of the sticks is mine. Crafting bench in his inventory. So this is basically the player's inventory when they were killed. We have a crafting bench in the inventory. Which suggests that this player might have actually been just travelling through, looted the place, and then died in the night. That's entirely possible. That's entirely possible. Okay, let's start by putting some torches down. One thing I've noticed coming here is I haven't found a mine. So, I, I haven't found any evidence that the ground has been disturbed. Checking out what's going on in the birch forest, that's a high priority. But otherwise, yeah, I just haven't found anything to suggest someone was living here for long. The house, I mean, looks fairly good. I mean, I don't think they ever finished the roof. But otherwise... One thing I wonder as well is how exactly this house was griefed. Like at some point you had the owner here and either they stopped playing or the house was griefed. It obviously wasn't griefed by TNT. It doesn't look like TNT. I mean, to have a weird random block taken out like that. If I was to guess what happened to this house, I'm thinking possibly fire damage. That's what I would go for on initial... Pass. I was, if someone tell me what happened to this house, I would say fire damage. And then you have some additional griefing of materials here. Like someone's been taking some of the blocks here. It's just such an old house. Okay, we'll pause the, the recording for that. But let's see what I can do in the meantime. Um, I need to start building the stairs up to the... Uh, up to the chest. One thing I want to do in the restoration is I want to also figure out what each room was used for. So I want to be careful about how I reconstruct this. I don't want to leave my mark on it too much. I want to try and reconstruct. Yeah, we got a tower here. I could convert that into an, an actual tower. That could be interesting. Um, for now, I think I need to probably build a... Uh, let's say... Yeah, like some dirt stairs. I need to restore some of the dirt from the... ...farm as well. And then once I've got more of a stable house, I can start looking at how I can start to... ...convert it properly. But for now, I'm really curious about the chest. I'm just being able to get up to the higher level would probably be... ...useful for the mobs and things. 
I need to uh, figure out how you can skip the night. That would be kind of interesting. Okay. That do it? Yeah. Hang on a second. Why is there chat? I turned off chat. Command only. Okay. Um. Okay. There's obviously some stone blocks here. Like, how do I... How did you originally... How did you originally get up to the top? Don't think it was from the front. No, that's the main entrance. That's a window. Where was the... Where was the door? It wasn't here. That could have been the door. Possible. Hmm. Towered up here. Oh, hang on, what's this? No, okay, so this these two sides are mirrored, so that's going to be useful for the reconstruction for sure. Um, stone across there. Mm, that could have been a door, look, as you've gone to the effort of putting stone down. Could have been a door. Okay. So I'm thinking there was probably at some point a stairs here. I mean, you can, yeah, you can put it in the comments if you think I've got that wrong. But it does seem likely that there was a stairs or at least some kind of ladder here. You know? Alright, let's see what's going on in that chest. There's enough rotten flesh here that suggests to me, plus the other rotten flesh, that whoever was living here was living here for a while. Definitely for a while. This isn't, you know, I don't think they just stopped building the base. I think they were actually living here for a while. The base was griefed and they left. Because the top of the house is so uniform, it doesn't necessarily look like it was griefed. It looks like the roof was never finished. So I'd probably give the person... Ooh, they could have been here for a month, they could have been here for a couple of weeks, they could have been here on and off for about six months, because it's, it's weird. There's definitely been more people passing through here. So as I set up the base here, I'm definitely going to run into more people. There's going to be more people visiting the, the, the house for sure. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So he did use a bit of uh, dark wood. I was going to start building bir birch wood, birch wood, um, birch wood doors, but obviously, obviously not. There we go. That's the reserve restart. Let me just try and get back in. Joining world. Okay. And... That zombie is really bugging me. I need to build a fence around this place or something. That's one thing that's I notice is a bit strange about this house. It does seem very unprotected from the wild. It's possible someone took all the torches there. Come on. Yeah, I don't like I don't like mobs right up on top of my house. We need to fix that bottom wall for sure. Hmm. I 
should definitely eat something, no? Well, the first thing I need is I need more birch. I have my axe. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, let's go. I, I'm not too worried about these mobs, to be honest with you. I'll probably do a little bit more food. I should probably use the axe, right? Okay, let's take a bit of food. I'm going to plant some seed as well, just to get things going. Um, diamond hole? Sure, why not? Why not? Oh! The water's gone. Hang on a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that at least part of the build is in good condition, you know? I mean, it's possible one of these was wheat and the other was potato. That's entirely possible. Or that it was a, it was potato and then converted to potato at a later point. Okay, no, that's not seed. How could it be? Okay, that'll do for now. And let's get harvesting some birch. I'll also be trying to keep an eye out for um, oh dear for a mine or any evidence of the original builder. Cause it does seem strange that there's no mine for underground materials, iron, that kind of thing. Okay. I haven't had a really a chance to do a full survey of the area. I just have looked, as you saw, at the house itself. Um. I haven't looked at this forest at all, really. I just saw the house, went in, <laughs> naked essentially, um, very little materials, and there was a massive drop of items. And at that moment I was just completely inspired, I needed to do a series on this house. I see that this uh, particular server has a Discord. So maybe once things are a bit more established here, we've got a couple of episodes out in this series, I can try and reach out to the community and um, see if they can give me more information on this house and who built it. And as I sur sur survey the area, it's entirely possible I'll find other builds, because I'm actually not that far away from spawn. I mean, I'm sure if I build a boat and I travel out that water, I'm going to find some amazing builds. That very, mel very well may be what we do if uh, this house gets griefed or um, we complete this series. That, that could definitely be a new series, just looking for new builds out there. Okay, I need to keep some of this behind. Right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, see, I need to be careful of stuff like this. That could have been... That could have quite easily have been a window. And speaking of windows, is there any evidence of sand being dug up? I mean, this is very flat. It's possible. Now, did these jut out? Or were they always... There's no, there's no evidence of an exterior wall. These 
were probably ringed by stone. Yeah, there must be a mine nearby. Like, where did he get all this stone? There would have been coal involved. Uh, I'm definitely not getting the full picture yet. That looks like a window. So I'm guessing the other side was also a window. Probably a birch tower there, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, look. Wow, why is that? Yeah, I'd love to talk to the original builder. If I could get the original builder of this, we could work together for a full restoration. Because I'm going to have to really guess. I mean, I have a floor plan here. It's anyone's guess, though, isn't it? Well, this doesn't belong to the original builder that much, I do know. That can go out. Yeah. Plug these holes. So the house has been raided and journeyed on a couple of occasions. That, that much is clear. So I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised if I don't come back later and the torches I left and the exterior of the house are not robbed. Which actually continues to create a mob problem. Drippity drip. Um, right, right, right. There's the level of the windows. Tends to make windows four wide. Let's go with that. This wall goes beyond the floor plan. That's a little confusing. So sometimes he builds, and other times he doesn't. That could have been an aesthetic thing, because that comes right up on the grass. Yeah, there's definitely some inconsistencies here. Doesn't matter though, we'll, we'll get there in the end, for sure. Mm -mm. Problems... Problems... Oh no, that's not cool. That is not cool. Uh, okay, let's go. Music, gone. Yeah. I'm just trying to take the most obvious fixes first. Try to fix this this bottom these bottom walls. There doesn't seem to be there might have been a loop around here. Like it doesn't seem like you can access these farms until the morning. That's my interpretation anyway. Oh yeah, this, this has to be a door. This has to be the door. Gap here, so that was probably also like that. More gaps, more gaps everywhere. Hard to say what was intended here. What did this what did the stone what does the stone signify? They could be doors. Yeah. Yeah, they're doors, aren't they? And they're also dark wood doors, more than likely. Yeah, so let's get the dark wood in. Yeah, 
These trees are gigantic. How am I going to cut these down? All right. My original plan for this series was actually to stream it and I could take comments live in terms of what we should do next or what we should explore next. But between Chrome and my recording software and the game itself, my PC, or my laptop I should say, is actually not power is literally not powerful enough to play Minecraft. I've never had any issues with Minecraft before, but apparently streaming it is a whole different ballgame. What would end up happening is I would lose frames. I would have the audio quality would be fine. You'd hear what you could hear what I was saying, but it'd be very jumpy and jittery. the The CPU could not keep up uh, with the stream and the game at the same time. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try recording the series for now, see how we get on, and basically take co you know take feedback from the comments in terms of what we want to do next suggestions on how the house may originally have been or who I need to talk to or just like what I should explore next like should I ex like what direction I should explore what I should build I'll just have to use the comment section instead so I'll definitely be taking much closer uh, attention to that um, we need to do something about these holes I don't like constantly falling in them okay we're not doing too bad this used to be I would imagine a uh, materials a work a work store like 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 th this you have this piece here and you have this bench here so i could easily imagine that there were some chests here storing raw materials um as he was collecting the wood this looks like the workshop now it's been raided there's not much left but i w i would be willing to bet that back in its heyday there would have been two double chests here full of junk because it's bizarre that there's no chests one chest survived at the top and i after doing an initial survey missed that on the first cut so it does seem like the only reason that one survived was because it was well hidden okay so I want to build a birch door sorry dark oak door well okay cool this does not feel very safe you got three per Okay, I'll take it. I didn't realize. I thought it was one per set. There should definitely have been some stone here. Here comes the zombies. Okay, one door in. Mm, bit dark there, I don't like that. So, I mean, was this a door? There's no stone on the bottom to suggest it was a door. Does it need to be a door? I mean, it would aesthetically it makes sense. Aesthetically, it makes sense. The house is not perfectly mirrored. The farms are mirrored. The farms are mirrored, but the house isn't. That's a curious choice. How is that even possible? How can the fans... Is it jutting out on one side? By two blocks. Weird. One block. Okay, I need to finish... I need to finish towering up those uh, logs, no? I think as I build 
the house more, that will become more apparent. I also need to forge a mine of my own because I definitely need stone to make more progress here. Like for example this, like I need more stone from here. Um, okay, 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 okay. My guy's getting hungry. I mean, this hole in the ground seems a good place in any way to put a, a, a mine. Although it's already the quarry, I definitely, I definitely need to check out that uh, ravine for more materials. But hmm. for now, it's okay. I just need some stone. I mean, this looks like he probably got the sand from here, right? I mean, that's this is very flat. So he might have flattened this out, but it looks like... Unless I'm just being a complete idiot and I dug this myself. Um, but it does look like, yeah, he could have taken some sand from there. But I have no idea where he got the rock from. I need to find that. I need to find that... mine. Okay, a bit of sand on the side, I guess. Feel free to speed through the part of the video where I'm literally building a mine in the ground. But it has to be done. Let's just go into this... Will I go into this bricks? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I need... To, I really need to start thinking about torches. I don't want it getting too dark. I don't know how that will show up on the video, so I, I don't want it to be too dark for you guys. I have no problem mining in the dark, but for the sake of the video, maybe I should start building some torches. Nice. That really puzzles me. Normally, the original builder puts these birch lines on the outside of the building. So that kind of suggests that this might actually be an ex exterior wall at some point, or it was planned to be, anyhow. I see ya. Right, I need to build the forge. Yeah. 
Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. What can I burn? Um, I need more wood, believe it or not. Okay, 22, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Let's wait until we get one piece. Or actually, you know what, I'm not sure what is the most efficient way to do this. I never really thought about that. Never really thought about that. Be okay for now, no? Yeah, I should definitely at least build a crafting bench or something, put it here. Oops. Right. Sticks, lots of sticks. Four torches. Hmm. Yeah, there's no real getting around it. I need to either find some coal or I need to start mining trees again. Okay, fine. Um, do I want to build... I could build a little... Yeah, I could build a little station here, no? One stick, two sticks. I guess I could use it up, no? I don't really need it right now. Problem solved. Chunk chest. I need to burn that sand, don't I? Yeah, I do. I do indeed. Huh. 
I should I shouldn't dig down. <laughs> The monsters have been fairly harmless at this point. I guess the diamond armor is helping, though. Oh, hello. Could be a dungeon in here. Or a cave. That would be nice. stairs into this later on I think lots of stone daytime let's take down another let's take down another dark wood Yeah, let's do that. Got the... yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so like if there's any new blocks or tricks that I'm unaware of. Um, I'd say the last time I played was probably before the aquatic update. Maybe even an update before that. So if there's anything I can do, any tricks you know to speed things up. Or like, better use of materials or just, just I know there's been a lot of changes. Um, to how crafting works and how materials are managed. I kind of stopped playing around the time that the updates were just new animals and random things. I think some of the more recent updates have been genuinely game improvements, you know? A lot of pigs here. The fact that there's no... I don't think I saw any pork. There was lamb, there was beef. Oh. There was lamb, there was beef, and there was potatoes, but there was no pork. Why did he not take the pork? Actually, I probably could leave a torch there at this point. I could seal off this room, that would be pretty cool. Actually no, I can split this up, speed, speed this up. <laughs> Imagine if the house was destroyed by thunder. Imagine if that's what happened to it. They're all fired up except this one. Okay. Now there is something really important I need to do. Actually, I already had a stick there. No. 
No, it's too, that's too dark. Three. Uh, the game's definitely gotten more generous than I remember, that's for sure. Right. Ah, oh, seriously. That reminds me, I need to build a shield. The original owner doesn't have a shield. Look at that guy. Look at him. Hmm. I see you. Right, this is important. There we go. Did you find it? There you, there you have it. <laughs> Gotta name the house after the series, no? Need to get this door in, I think. Stone. How do you build stone? I think I need s just a stone block first. Where is he? Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Need two blocks of that. I'm gonna need a lot of it anyway, so I might as well. I'm gonna use a lot of my coal. A lot of my charcoal is gonna to go to just getting stone. More sticks, maybe? Okay, I can, I can, yeah, I can go to the mine while I'm waiting on this stuff and all these mobs and yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely need to install the stairs. Definitely. There it is. There it is. Okay. Is this just the ravine continu continued underground? I need to be careful. Okay. I don't. I don't need this. Wow, you can hear the storm all the way down here. Is that open, I'm wondering? Oh, there's a lot of lava in here. There's a lot of lava in here. Hang on. Hello, my friend. Hello. Cobblestone. That's what I like to see. So someone passed around this. I don't know why they didn't just plug it. Bloody hell, what is going on? Someone path around here. Ooh. But if 
someone passed here, how did they... How did they get here? Hello? I feel like I'm... I'm... Raiding the tomb of Count Dracula or something. There we go! I'm just asking for trouble down here. All this coal? Why'd you leave all the coal? Weird. able to reach me. No, he's not. Yeah, it's a bit helter cut skelter. So he left a torch down there. This was dark. Oh, there's a lot to explore. There is a lot to explore. I hope I don't forget my own torches. I want to know the difference between Player torch and my own torch. Oh, I'm getting lost. I'm getting very lost. But I found something important. But I lo I'd love, I'd absolutely love if I found a journal down here. That would be amazing. Once I have the materials, I would like to keep my own journal. Yeah, I didn't put that there. Whoever went down here... There's a very good chance they didn't come back up. Now I need to watch my health. You know I'm going to try and exit. This wasn't impossible to find, so I'm going to try and exit. It's all... It's all just... Yeah, they were lost. Whoever came down here was lost. I'm not expecting too much from down here, actually. But it's all just a mess. There's random torches and corners. There's material that hasn't been collected. It's a mess. I think they're just trying to find their way out. I mean, maybe he took some iron there or something, but overall, a lot of material was left behind. Feeling a little lost myself. doesn't sound good. That does not sound good.
more iron. Oh my goodness, this... Oh, I could get very lost, very lost. I hope I have enough wood to build more picks, because this could go bad. Hmm, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. I have enough material. Yeah, I, I should be able to mine out if I need to. Oh, a skeleton from over there. Oh. Why'd he put... I don't know. Goodbye, Cole. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, don't care enough. Not worth it. Round and round we go. Mm -mm -mm. I don't really know if I should go down so far. I mean, all the enemies are going to fall to here. There's definitely no exit from the bottom. Probably a bad idea. That's yeah, definitely a bad idea. Oh yeah, that's that's pure diamond armor. And my coal is gone. Yeah, I think I think I have to mine out. I have to mine it out. What else can I do? Yeah, gotta mine it. I'm gonna get as high as I can. And I'm gonna get a mine going. See where we surface. Oh no. Baby zombie. Uh, torch. Torch? Wanna mine? Hey, not too bad. Hey, you can go away. Not too bad. Okay, so I have some idea what's happening here. Dude, seriously? Where did that come from? Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh. Okay, here we go. Right here. It's like a good spot. No. Now. Like anyone who goes down that way. Without decent gear, without some idea what you're getting into, you're just gonna get lost. There there is no there's no coming back from that. Why is there skellies in my base? In my mines? Oh, he ran from the... He ran from the light and came down my... Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a door or something on that. There's no question of that. Not a bad start, I would say. Not a bad start. Got our stone. Okay, let's, let's try and finish the front door. Can I do it? Okay, good.
Right. With that, my friends, I think we'll leave episode one there. Let's give a quick shout out to whoever's online. Just bored walking. Quiet day. Quiet day. When I joined, there was five. Ah, uh, maybe the server restart throw them off. Anyway, I'm leaving it there for now, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed so far. I'll be keeping an eye in the comments for what to do next. And until then, I'll I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.